Then we take back all the books. And the well-off children all donate their books back and that becomes a book bank for other children can borrow. There are well-wishers all over the world, in fact. Say, for example, there's a death in the family and they inform everybody, please don't send flowers. Give us the money and we will put it to a good cause in India. In that way, many, many uh, money comes from all, all over. And I can give this assurance to anybody who's listening and who's wondering whether they should go into this kind of work, that there will be no dearth of money. The money will come. God provides. And I firmly believe, I have a very firm belief that if we try to do something good, God will definitely look after us. I began by just admitting 50% um, of the poorest children into the school. Uh, there was no, I, I waited for any objections from other parents who were paying fees. No objections came. Then slowly we decided to do something for the, we began to go out into the villages. Sometimes a few of the parents came out in their cars to see where we were going. And I encouraged that. And wherever I tried to bring in something new, I would have parent-teacher meetings and we would talk about these programs. Like, for example, inviting them in and saying, now, what do you want most for your child from the school? And then writing up on the board, you know, um, patriotism and love of country and service, a good career, all those things. So I wrote them all up on the board and then I said, now, like, um, patriotism, now the village program will give your child that. Sense of service, the rainbow program will give the child that. Good career or academic program will give that. And we keep our academic program very high. We also never, never sacrifice academics to any other curricular activities. We sacrifice leisure time. So the children learn that you do your duty, but you also, this is part of your duty, and you give up your time to it. You make some sacrifices. It's not enough just simply to, that you can just uh, um, do whatever you like as, as and when. But it's something that you really make a sacrifice for. And in that way, hopefully we build children with a bit of moral strength in them. You know, that they can stand up for what they believe to be right later on in society. So it's not a brand new idea that we bring here. It's more that we have developed it up to the point where we're looking at real development now. It's not just simply charity giving handouts. It's where we are really helping people to stand on their own feet and solve their own problems. And my real dream for India is that we will reach a point where every child will have enough food so they're not brain damaged and a really quality education so that they can reach their very, very best potential. And if every child in India was to reach our highest potential, we have the best gene bank in the world. We have the most clever children and the most clever people. And India would, you know, they talk about India shining, India is not shining. But if every single child gets to school and every child gets enough food, India will really be shining in the future.